My name is David Prentice. I really always knew I had a drug and alcohol problem. Uh, w wanting to do something about it was the was the uh, the thing that stopped me. Once drugs were introduced, it wasn't a choice anymore. I couldn't not drink or use, uh, even though I was truthful with myself about this as a problem, uh, I still couldn't do anything about it. From 13 on, I drank whenever I could, whatever I could. I wasn't really a trigger drinker or a trigger drug user. I drank and used every day uh, at every opportunity I could. So I really didn't look for triggers. I didn't need triggers. Uh, if I woke up and it was sunny, that was a trigger enough for me. If it was raining, we better have a drink. That's another trigger. Uh, so it really didn't matter. On April 20th, 2007, uh, I was sitting alone, uh, drunk and high. I realized that I was going to die and I was going to die alone. And it was a uh, very sobering fact that it, when I did die, nobody was probably gonna come to my funeral. And uh, it was that at that point where a decision was made that I was actually gonna do something about this. One of the key things about working here is that you get to be of service, no matter what position you are, uh, public affairs, development programs, uh, building maintenance, it doesn't matter where you work in the Midnight Mission, you're of service. And for me, that's, that's the key element that keeps me here and keeps me happy. I love coming to work. I think the Midnight Mission is the ultimate place to come if you really need or really want help. Um, I've watched men come in here that have been out on the streets of Skid Row for 20 years and walk through the doors willing to accept the help that we offer. And I've watched them walk out a year, year and a half later uh, with their own apartment, their own car, their families back, their children back in their lives. When you talk about miracles, this is the place where things like that happen.